Next item is number four, an application for a certificate of appropriateness in the borough of Manhattan, docket number 16-4128, block 673, lot 1, 220 12th, 12th Street in the West 12th Avenue. 12th. 12th Avenue in the West Chelsea Historic District. A complex of American round art style warehouse buildings designed by George B. Mallory and Otto M. Beck and built in 1890 to 91. And the application is to amend status update letter 15-7441 to install painted wall signs and lighting. Design, relocating it to the corner of the building and increasing its size. Uh, they are still proposing externally illuminated painted wall signage. The design team is here to present the revised proposal. We'll reopen the hearing. Hey, good morning. I'm Pete Schultz from Wendigo Architecture, and uh, we have. As Hillary had mentioned, we had put together, uh, we're doing a master plan on this building, and at that time we had submitted for signage for a new tenant that was going in the corner here of West 28th Street and uh, 12, 11th Avenue. Um, so the original proposed signage, uh, we feel the, the building is massive enough that it can handle brick uh, painted signage on it, and we have historical reference of those signs, which you see in the booklet. Um, so the original proposal was to have a painted sign here along 11th Avenue and in this one central spandrel along West 28th Street. Um, due to uh, changes in uh, the philosophy of signage and working it out with the tenant, uh, we've decided that placing it on the corner will be more appropriate for the business aspect of, the, uh, of this uh, unit and, um, and that's why we're here to present this change. Um, the, there'll be two signs, one at each corner. Uh, they are approximately 17 feet in height from top to bottom of the outermost points. And there will be one light fixture above each sign. The light fixture that we're using is an approved down light from our master plan. Right, I think it's, uh, if you can just show us that yeah. it's uh, on page two of the packet. So, please, yeah, it's fine. That's so this was what was previously this was proposed? This previously approved, correct. We had the one sign on West 28th and the one around the Avenue. Okay, so now it's just been concentrated at the corner correct. and it's this two sort of vertical oriented signs. Exactly. Okay, if we can show that. Okay. So this is the proposal. All right. Any questions? All right, no questions. Thank you. Yeah. Quick question. Yeah. Uh, the previous signs were approved, you say when? Uh, I think in July of this year. Oh, no, July sorry, of this year. June? September 9th. Sorry. September 9th. Of last year or this year? This year. Oh. No. No, it I've wasn't. I've seen it. So that was it was done, I'll tell you, the date is written here. Uh, so is it? No, it was, I think, approved on, uh, on May 6th. May 6th, yeah. Yeah, okay, so May 6th. So uh, are there other signs on the building besides the, the historic, the first ones? Um, uh, well, I mean, there, we have the historical reference of other painted signs. There are painted signs. signs. But there are none existing there. Right. Other than the fabric sign that hangs at the top. There's one that's at the top, which I think is grandfathered or something. And mm -hmm. looking at that, it's... I, I just, since I, I wasn't around for the discussion of whether or not there should be a new kind of signing on, on the building, I just wonder what the discussion around that was because the building is so um, powerful sort of without any extra besides the old uh, faded painted signs. I, I question it. So, Right, and I was not here. So Sarah, do you want to comment on that? It's just about painted signs on, on some of these buildings. Painted application of the sign is not inconsistent with the typology or even with the history of this particular 
and windows Sorry, and you're board proposing board a painted sign, not a lit sign. I, it just didn't look correct. Like it is painted with one light fixture on another, just to illuminate uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. I see. Because it, the sign itself is painted right. right onto the brick. Surface. It's painted onto the brick, which, okay. okay. Yes, uh, and thank you. The president you see here is yes, that doesn't the look. Right. Yes, Chris. What is the height of the letters up at the B A R, each, each letter? They higher than 24 inches, or? Yeah, uh, the overall height is. No, there's just each letter. B, how, how? I'm, I'm going to say we're approximately four and a half, five feet. That's uh, per eight, eight four, for each letter? Each letter, five each feet? Letter, five, so two, two feet. Yeah, yeah. Two. Must be like. Yeah, that's right. We're taking out. Is there any other space yeah, in between? Is it more than two feet? The overall feet. width, I mean, from outer point to outer point is three feet. Is it more so than 24 inches per letter? Yes, it is. Because you're saying that that's 24, 24 inches. So that's like a three foot. High beam. Approximately three foot, because the outer edges of the red line to red line mm -hmm. is three feet. So the letter itself is, you're going to say, a little over two feet in width and probably slightly higher. Okay. Um, other questions? Yes, Roberta? No, I was yeah. just saying that I, they, they are big. So, so what are the other, so the other letters that are there are what? They're the ones that are high up. That's the, so it's only yeah, this, that's these the, two the signs. That's the historic reference, right, would be up high on the building. Uh -huh. But I'm saying on your, on your new, on your facade, the, these are the only letters? These would be the only letters, uh -huh. correct. They are big. Yeah, every, I mean, everything they that you see at this corner. That's the extent of this. Uh, but it's painted on. So yeah. Right. So I think that, I mean, there's some, the, the commission approved signage on this, and in some ways, some parts of this proposal I think are better because in the earlier one, they were putting it in the middle of, I guess it's sort of the transom, mm -hmm. and now it's not. So that was a decorative feature. And I think it's also sort of concentrated the corner and kind of, Sort of looks actually so kind of historic in its own way, in its in its uh, palette and in its treatment, and I think it's also on a very large facade. So even though if we look at it, it's you know maybe two feet high for each letter, but in the overall um, I think expanse of brick, it's actually quite attractive and I don't know sort of nostalgic looking in its own way. Are there any concerns? Okay, good. So. Uh, uh, any concerns? Well, I mean, I, I still size. I mean, maybe it, it, it is three foot high and it looks all right because the building is grand. It's just hard to tell. It could look, because when you compare it to the size of the doors and the windows next to it. Go back to the historic photo we, of the whole building. But, yeah, so maybe it's well, We fine. keep Dwayne Reed to less than 24 inches, so. I don't know, just a big letter. Can you put your finger on where, where it would be in about how? So. On that B here. I'm sorry. Just how big would it be on that photo? Well, I mean, right. it, this photo would be roughly, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think uh, we can uh, go ahead uh, to uh, read this into the. Okay, thank you. We can close the hearing. Thank you. And uh, Michael, do you want to read that? Okay. Regarding 220 12th Avenue in the West Chelsea Historic District, the application is to install painted wall signs and lighting. I uh, recommend approval. Finding that the painted wall signs recall the painted signage historically found on bu this building and are in keeping with a type of signage historically found on buildings of this age and type. But the proposed signs will consist of individual letters and graphics using a limited color palette and will be well scaled to the base of the facades and the amount of signage will not overwhelm the building. That the proposed wall mounted light fixtures will be uh, to be located immediately above the painted signs will be modest in scale. We'll have a dark matte finish to match the finish for the light fixtures installed at the building and there will be no visible electrical conduit and that the work will not detract from the special architectural or historic character of the building or district. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Opposed. Okay. Uh, of course, opposed. Otherwise, this application has been approved. Thank you.